here. Um, now, if you probably saw the video with um, Billy's moped, then you'll want to watch this one because Luke brought one, and I was the first to th think of the idea, but the last to get one, so I actually got mine brand new. It just came this morning, and I just, I have no knife, so I'm using these. And yeah, it's Billy's one, he painted that, so it's all, it's all like blue, because you know how it had the black frame, we painted that blue, it looked really nice. And Luke's one has all the performance parts on it, like a, all the cool stuff, but his has got problems with the head so might go around there today and have a look but yeah I'm just gonna mostly do this today what do you got there Benj? oh this is a pain there we go This is the bike that I'm putting on, you've probably seen that video. But yeah, that's what I'm putting it on. Ooh, don't want to drop it. Alrighty, I don't think this will cut this. I don't know, there's something better than that. Um, what can we use? Should be a knife somewhere, I'm just not sure where it is. Um, there's my throttle cable that I picked up, our, our cord out the back. This is like a part thing now, I've got the double brake on it. So I'm going to have front disc brakes on it, just, just front brakes. Because, yeah, the bike out here is the one that I'm using. Oh no, where's it go? Where did I put it? Must be in here somewhere. <laughs> Where is it? Where'd it go? What's happened to it? It must be around the side. There it is. Yeah, that bike. I don't know who put it there. But um, I'm just going to use the back tyre off that. And... Yeah, because that bike's crap. <laughs> Crappy, and I might use a chain as well, just because I need it. But yeah. Oh, where's a knife? Where's a knife? Not have a knife. Just trying to find a knife. I didn't even think of using one of these. Oh. Hey. I'll put that up so Benji doesn't steal it sort out something but yeah this is it got our instruction manual here power king looks fairly decent <laughs> okay oh, I don't know how to get this out I'm just gonna put down the phone I might just cut the box open okay It was a knife down here, so it's a really long one that I used to make flares on the some little thing. Oh, I don't want to break the box. Oh, I just stand on it. Yeah. I'm not thinking. Oh, that was in her attention. There's no tension. Jeez, that's dangerous. I didn't think of that. Here we go. So I'm guessing this must be like the chain and the... I don't know. That's the engine, I know that. That one. That must be the fuel tank. Yeah, that'll be like all the bits. 
Yeah, this is the engine. So heavy. Oh, I can't even lift that. Oh, I think I might just unbox them here. Okay. Let's unbox the engine first. I just know it's the engine. Don't laugh at me if I'm wrong. But... Oh, it even comes in packaging. It's got foil. Oh, whatever that is. Foam. Hey, here it is. So we've got some here. There's a spark plug. Oh, there's a pet cock there, spark plug thingo. All the mounts. Hopefully, there's a universal mount in there somewhere. Could just make my own one. But... Oh, I see we've got a fuel filter. Oh, bad. And then, so we've got our CDI coil. CDI, and bolts for that. And then we've got. Oh, what's this here? This must be the chain. And what's in that box then? <laughs> I think I might just get the engine out. And just... Oh, I should have it on. It's clean though. Yeah, it's a chain. 415 chain. Oh, spark plugs are yelling there. Talk about dodgy. Oh, down. Ben didn't have that. Oh, there's something else. Oh, there's our sprocket. Jeez, that's, a, that's heavy. That's pretty weighty. It looks fairly good, I have to say. The box looks pretty crappy. And that's a box. So yeah, we've got all that stuff out. Fuel time, we don't want to lose that. So five dollars if I lose that. Okay. And then I don't I'm ninety percent sure that the fuel tank's in here because it's fairly light and the Billy's one's pretty light, so and yet yeah, I'm not. Everything one handed to hold. I should have set my GoPro up anyway. So that's the fuel tank. Check that box over there. And I have no idea what's in here to be honest. Hmm, let me think. Oh, this might be the. I don't know. Keen to find out actually. It might be. Might be all that stuff up there. Yeah, it'll be all that. I'm surprised that it needs such a big box. Oh, this is the universal mountain stuff. No worries. It's in here. Oh, so we've got. I don't know what the hell that is. You guys can tell me what that is. I'll probably find it in the instructions, but. Honestly, I have no idea what that does. Ooh, let me set them not. That's our fuel line. Ugh. Chain cover. I actually might put that on. I'm not sure, but I want it to be quite light. Chain tensioner. I was hoping I had that. I'm uh, not 100% sure about how that bearing will go. Anyway. Don't need a chain tensioner. Um, so we've got our fuel line. That feels nice. Oh, it's got the good grips. Billy's one has the crappy grips that are like this. He's got them weird grips. I don't know if you can see it. They're like all weird shaped. But I got the round one. Fake ODIs. Now it all what the, Oh, we've got the bike it's an exhaust. Yeah, I forgot about that. So that's the exhaust, stock one. I'm probably going to do the restricted delete on that one. Oh, it's got the new carby. It's got the one with the cool air filter on it. Now I just want to check if that'll fit. No, it probably will. It's got the new air filter. The other one has like this crappy, Billy's one's got the crappy round one that caused a thousand problems on my. Wait, where's the air going? What's going under there? Talk about an air filter. It's like 
It's like an air. I don't know. I'm trying to block the air in or something. Um. Oh, there's that thing. The kill switch. Oh no, it's got the throttle on as well. You can drill a hole up there to put it in. The ground it out. Okay, so we've got the clutch. Got our little thing on it there. You can see that? Well, I'll take it all out of the package eventually. But... And then we've got our throttle cable plus clutch cable. Not bad. That explains that box. And then, oh, wait, is there anything else? Ah, oh, all good. I'll dump it right over there. And we'll start setting it all up. I'm going to update you as I'm going because it's going to take a while with the camera with one handed so I think I'll just do that. I'll show everything when it's all unpackaged and out of its little covers. In the fuel tank and I found this little thing floating around in there. It was rattling. You do not want that. That's why you have an air filter. I mean a fuel filter because you do not want that in your in your engine. How does unblock the engine? It's not the greatest looking thing. It's got yeah. The casting's alright, but it just feels a little bit dodgy. I don't know why. But anyway, fine. I'll continue unpacking. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, but I brought this bike in anyway. Brought in the other one. It's only got front brakes because back ones are a pain and I painted the wheels so they skip quite a bit but um yeah this is one of those old iron horse crappy thing I painted it red it used to be this gay colour I don't even know what colour it was but um yeah I painted that so we're just going to take this back wheel off and the chain and the pedals this, this doesn't have any of that but um oh and the seat, the seat's actually not that bad Probably got another seat laying around, but this one do, so. Yeah, and I, yeah, it's pretty gay. But. And yeah, I would use this bike, but the front wheel is in fact um, buckled. I don't know if you can see, but it is actually buckled quite a lot. Like I was moving it, and this moves like goes like this. But anyway, I'll start installing it. Oh, I got. This one, finally, it took like half an hour. And Billy, Billy's come around. Hello. There he is. He's got his one. You can see it's painted. He painted it. Blue and black. And um, I'm just putting the engine on. It's pretty slick. And um, Billy's is actually 80cc, is it really? Mm, very good. It's 66, isn't it? Anyway. Alright, so I'll... Come back once I get this engine fully in. I'm having a bit of problems here. So we've got we've progressed a little bit more. No, we had a few problems. Billy dropped the bike and it hit the ground with the motor on. We got the motor on, so I just put a hose clamp there and cable tied that back in, so it'll never come out in the world. So we're just putting. The We'll put the carby on, we've got the clutch connected, pretty much up to the chain almost. So yeah, just worried about the cranks missing the exhaust pipe. Not sure yet. But anyway, next thing is to put spark plug on, exhaust on, and then the chain, and then the handlebars, because the handlebars are stupid. I'm not sure what to do with these grips. So yeah. So finally we got it done, it's been about one day since I last took this video, the videos before, because, well, I got it all done and I just wanted to ride it, and Billy came over, so he brought Old Faithful here over, it's all painted, and uh, yeah, we, it broke because the CDI stopped working, so we had to, yeah, get a new one. But yeah, got it all done. Exhaust pipes hooked up. Runs. The only problem is, 
and we put the fuel in, I forgot, I wasn't sure what what mixture it had in it. Turns out it had no oil in it. So I've been riding around with no oil when it's breaking in, which is really, really bad. So hopefully I didn't break anything in it already. But yeah, it runs great. I've got a bit of stuff leaking out there, which I'll clean up. It's probably just a bit of big stuff coming out of the exhaust, but yeah, not bad, yeah. So when it runs mint, not much play. We've got our disc brake here. And um, yeah, clutch, gears, gears not working that well. No, no, <laughs> that one. But um, yeah, it starts right up. It's working perfectly. So yeah. I'm gonna get some riding footage in soon. Just um yeah, I've gotta sort out some other stuff so